in the recent months of unfortunate events. NVIDIA has brought us quite some lights into the miserable darkness we are situated in. Not only it dropped a nuclear bomb, hmm, no actually that was more like a thermonuclear bomb, into the console cold war and put everyone else to shame, both in price and functionality. Like just look at this graph, the price dropped in at least half and still retains the same functionality as RTX 280. And on the other hand, we are exploding with double the amount of AI model complexity with this GPU release alongside, the rise of better AI is going to be even quicker. What's even better is that having a bad internet connection will soon not be a viable excuse to close your camera on your Zoom meeting so you can be half naked. Hiya. Around probably 10 days ago as of the time I wrote this script, NVIDIA released a video introducing their new AI with the title, Inventing Virtual Meetings of Tomorrow with NVIDIA AI Research. Well, before I go even further, I just want to say that I've actually might have clickbaited you guys into watching this video. Well, not really, but here's the thing. As how I phrase it in the title and how it looked on the thumbnail, this AI sounds like a technique to improve your Wi-Fi and make live video transfer requires less bandwidth. Something like an improved video compression method. Well, that is technically half true. The other part that is slightly different is that it's not actually a compression method, but more like a video manipulation method. Do you guys still remember the video I've made Made on deepfake used for animations? Well, if you don't remember, go watch it after this video. Anyways, it is around the same logic of how first order motion model works. In FOM, the AI detects the facial features and manipulate the key points of the face along with image in painting techniques to create this animated face on this 2D image, which is originally designed to animate on human faces but can potentially work really well on other mediums like animations or cutscenes in games as I proposed and tested in that video. Similarly, it first takes a snapshot of how your face looks and uses it as a base just like the input image for FOM. Then instead of using a driving video like FOM, an algorithm will be transferring live key points of your face and with the help of a trained neural network at the end to produce a video of you speaking in high resolution. Or to sound more horrifying, the AI manipulates your face with just simple key points and can make you look like you are speaking naturally. In short, this frame of the video is telling you that this is not a video upscaling AI in any shape or form. It is basically rigging a picture of your face in real time. However, as amazing or as terrifying as it sounds, it is still a technology that has not been perfected yet. Since FOM is an AI model for 2D images, it will be harder to manipulate moving faces and we can see it easily on the demo. You can also tell that there is like an old school video game graphics where the face is just projected onto a sphere as we can see here. And actually there are tons of tests I've thought up to play around with this first huge integration of this kind of AI model just by watching the demo. Tell me in the comments if you want to see me play around this AI when I get my hands on it. And actually I would love to see how the design of this AI is programmed when transferring between the AI generated facial movements and the live camera video. I'm speculating that there would be a threshold design that converts between the usage of the AI or the actual live video of your face. Maybe I should sign up for testing and you can sign it up here too. Another functionality test can be moving the camera angle on your face or even moving your face out of the screen. It'll be fun to see a virtual face mask slipping off your face if it's not done right or a ghost face when you are near the border of the screen. This video is sponsored by Infinite Red. Infinite Red Consulting handles your mobile web and AI needs. If you are looking for someone to build your app, visit and reach out at Infinite Red. And lastly, thank you guys for watching as always. Join my Discord if you are interested in discussing anything and participate in the community. Check out my Patreon and my Twitter if you haven't and I will see you all next time.